Hello everybody, welcome to Precinct Stress Kitchen. If you are joining me for the first time, I want to welcome you and to all my subscribers, I want to thank you and welcome you as well. Guys, we are making sugar bread or agave bread and I know you're going to love it. So I have with me here four cups of all purpose flour that's on bleach one i have vanilla extract i have two cups of warm milk yeast salt nutmeg one um, egg half cup of sugar and half cup of melted margarine so i'm gonna combine all the dry ingredients together and then i will set that aside hmm i'm for brother with you come on Hmm. you just stay with me throughout and you you're gonna love this you're gonna love this bread this is special gege bread though hmm. hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and add one tablespoon full of yeast and a half to the milk and um, I will just set that aside. I'm going to place it in the microwave. I'm not going to turn on the microwave. I'm just going to place it there. I want a warm place for it. We just want to make sure the yeast is active. So that's what I'm doing. So after the five minutes, we're going to combine all the... Um, wet ingredients to the dry ingredients so after the five minutes it's very nice so i'm gonna add the milk and the yeast to the uh, flour and then add the egg to it as well so i'm gonna add my margarine to it and then add my warm water to it this is one cup of water but i'm not going to take everything for now and then i added my vanilla extract about one teaspoon to it we just want a nice flavor and then i'm just going to go ahead and then mix everything to it so i will start by mixing with the spatula for now and then when it's getting thicker then I will just use my hand and then mix everything. Please, whenever you are working on, um, on, on the dough, please make sure you wash your hands properly. Please do that. So I'm going to mix with my hands now. And you can see it's very soft, but that's okay. And whenever you are mixing, make sure at least you should be pressing or putting you have to put some pressure to the dough so that you will not have some lumps in it so after mixing like this i'm gonna put it on the counter on the counter so that's what i'm gonna do i place about a quarter cup of all-purpose flour and then i will place my dough in it and i'll start by kneading make sure you knead it nicely guys so yes i'm gonna need and whenever you are kneading you're gonna use the the your palm that's where you're gonna use it so that's what i'm doing basically that's what i'm doing you just have to press it and you stretch you press and then you stretch like that that's how you need your dough now we just want to activate the yeast in it that's why we do that so you don't have to have a um, um, bread machine or cake machine before you can do this no you can do by your hand yes that's why God gave us hands so you can work this by your hand especially if your family is about five or four you can do this by hand if you don't have money to buy the mixture you can just do this okay I I'm actually using my hands so that you guys can try in case you don't have the machine at home you can try so right now I'm gonna take all the gluten out of the flour so I'm gonna put all my frustration on the dough and then 
Mais <laughs> me frustration in a good one so na me dey apempem ho na che say while you are smashing it like this it's it's also um making it more softer for you yeah so you have to do this and guys one more thing the more you smash it on the counter the more it becomes softer so you can see mine it's more soft now so i added um some of the butter on the counter and my palm just to make it smooth now you don't necessarily have to do what i just did you can use the flour and it will still be good but i just added the butter to it just i just want the flavor of the butter in it okay so that's why so after this i'm gonna place it in the pan and let it sit for about two hours two hours and then after two hours i will um bring it out again and i will start by preparing it or kneading it and it will be ready for the oven yeah so you have to do it this way and after the two hours bam it's a double in size but um, I changed the bowl because the first one was too small for it now this is the second time you're gonna knead it actually you don't have to knead it like the first time or the first one because this time you just want to take some of the air out of the dough that's all so I'm gonna divide it into three parts and then I will set that aside after um, after placing in the in the baking pan I'm gonna put that aside for about 30 minutes and then after the 30 minutes then it will be ready to go in the oven now guys you see the baking pan that I have here I bought it from the dollar store yes you don't have to buy the expensive one it's gonna do the same job you just have to butter your pan and then put some flour in it and that way the bread will not stick in the pan when it's done baking and make sure your bread or your dough is as um, long as your baking pan don't let the dough be um, longer than the pan okay so this is how I do my sugar bread trust me you're gonna love this you get your chibum your tea your coffee your rice water your porridge anything that you have your margarine your butter your your jam pineapple jam whatever that you have that you think you can eat with my bread bring it out i bet your boss we open salad and sonny bread yes salad and never an abe gb and i brought away the echo yene yen nice Bibia wo mo kama bibia che se taste no kwa we kwa men to in a kama no won say yes who the bread hey brother way she you're nice and kasa so i bring the ends together just to make it nice and it's going to sit for about 30 minutes just to i just want it to rise a bit before it goes in the oven. Now, more men are going to say, "Turn more ho, more crazy." A child and young boy tell me one day, "You know, pa no show, pa no show." Oh, the back of the day, me no pa no show. Now you see, after the thirty minutes, it has rise up. So I'm gonna uh, put it in the oven for about um one hour, and voila, the bread. Is out from the oven. Now, why she brood on pan on or that one not say? Hmm. When you pan we and that we had to say, and you fe ah, I ya con no, I ya fe ah, me you free pan so I ya so easy. Oh my goodness, I'm just loving what I'm seeing. <laughs> Eh, it's so at this point i'm gonna butter it uh, you just have to butter it with um whether butter margarine or olive oil or sunflower oil anything of them or any of them goes very well so guys 
we've come to the end of the video but we have to try and see what we did we have to taste it mm -hmm. so if you haven't subscribed yet kindly do so don't forget to click on the notification bell to get all the updates all the new videos from prison stress kitchen as i always say in everything god first never be ahead of god let god be ahead of you Stay away from trouble, stay safe, and until then, I will see you another time. Stay blessed.